Hello, my beautiful people. Second day in a t-shirt. I'm telling you, this is, um, I started with, with a long sleeve, but anyway, I'm just so happy. I'm just a sun person people. So I keep bringing this up. So a couple of things today. I thought I would mention, though, I'm wearing this kick-ass Magpul hat, which basically is firearms, accessories, and different things. And uh, for those of you still who have never learned to shoot or anything like that, um, which is fun once I learned as an adult and got over my fears, um, that is for another show that I did, actually. I think it's under Nora's personal empowerment journey. You can go listen to that more, which I think is fascinating because since I do feel like I was sheltered growing up in Pennsylvania, even though my dad knew how to shoot a gun, like he never showed me. And um, there are still a lot of people out there that not only are very fearful, they have their own opinions and things regarding guns. But if you go grow up like a lot of people in the country and just in that lifestyle, you kind of ob obviously are already familiar with it. And it's just can be a fun hobby to people or whatever. You don't have to hunt or whatever, right? So basically, I overcame that fear. And when I overcame that fear, I realized how much of it was in my head, a lot of it, right? Because the stuff you see on TV, it makes you fear f fearful. And um, so it's a very important uh, lesson for me to learn. Like, wow, that's not what I thought. Um, so you can go listen to that. I think I titled it under there, though, like overcoming my fear of guns. So anyway, um, I don't shoot very often or anything like that, but, you know, I like wearing the apparel and different things like that. And um, I got I got to look for that video. There's one of me shooting a rifle. I do a pretty good job at, at So I've done that and shotgun. And um, but, yeah, all the technical stuff and whatever. I I'm not I'm, I'm not an expert people. Anyway, it was very empowering for me in life to learn. Okay, now that now I learn and feel that empowerment, I'm going to try to kick that shit out of somebody's hand where before I might not do anything at all. And I'm not saying that you could you should kick it out of their hand. It's just that's how I feel. So more much more powerful, more equipped, right, to uh, not be fearful. So today let's talk about what sucks. I don't always talk about this so much, but this is why I called this educating oneself, because people every time I go into a situation now, I want to say, like, I keep referencing back to I'm not a dumb bitch, and I'm using that reference in that term because while I related it to my confrontation that I had with my family member, you know, that got in my face, I still feel like when I'm not educated and basically ignorant, right, I don't know what's going on with whatever life situation, I just keep walking away saying like, I'm not a dumb bitch. And I don't mean it like that so much more so is that I don't want to be dumb. I don't want to be ignorant about a situation like this home purchase. So that's why I was going to say that sucks right now is that we are in no rush. But in the meantime, while I am learning, my research is I've already dealt with this other broker in the past. And basically, I'm exploring out there what's called competitive loan quote. And, you know, yes, this is about building relationships, finding someone honest, someone who is on the same page with you. And we are trusting all these people because I can, you have to trust people to some sort of level. I am not going to go to realtor school whatever you call it, to become a realtor and learn all this information and get all flustered with that while in some ways it is intriguing. I'm not going to go do that. So I am entrusting these people that I pick to help us along this journey. And we have been doing it for 20 years and looking at this material, uh, you know, every day or all the time. And um, I don't know why my hat looks crooked, but whatever. Um, so it's the same thing that I will say when you go to, when you're paying somebody for a service, any provider, right, whether it is esthetician or it is a hairstylist or it is a contractor, whatever, getting second, going to the doctor, getting second opinions, talking to lots of other people. It is work, people, but it's worth it because you walk away not only with so much knowledge, like you do feel like you're educating yourself. You're not entrusting everybody with this um, or as the truth, right? So I'm gathering all this information to come to my own truth. And so this of the suck 
is that and can be stressful is I am interviewing, I'm asking questions, I'm 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 doing all of the things that I normally do and can be very exhausting and stressful, not only in the process of buying a house. This is why people go buy a new house. I could see because they don't have to deal with multiple offers. And there is a sense of mental fuckery because in many ways, but for the sake of this video, it's like I had a realtor before we decided to not use her again just because just things just whatever fell away. We don't talk anymore or whatever. Right. So you pick somebody who is a specialist in an area. And I thought, OK, maybe I assumed that a specialist meant this is me, you know, the average if you what do you call it, citizen lay person. When you pick a specialist, they might hear of some things before they come out in the market, right? They can give you a heads up or whatever it is, or, you know, they know about the area, they know, um, you know, about the soil and different things and whatever it is, because we're looking for country, more country. And uh, to my disappointment, it's kind of like, um, well, I love her and everything like that. I'm just saying like, well, I thought that that's what's going to help, right? Uh us find a house. And so, yes, you might find out beforehand and say she, he tells other people too that there are listings out there. You're still going up against other offers. And the madness is you are putting in an offer on based what you think or you and the realtor think that it should be, but you don't know what the other people are bidding. So it's almost like going back to like relationships things, not putting all your eggs in one basket, but not getting so excited about the one thing that you find. So it's like, okay, go shopping, pick a couple of different things you like, and hopefully you get one of them. And then don't even get me started on the whole compromising. Like, how are you supposed to pick when there's millions of things you're compromising on? You're compromising on the acreage, the, the location, the kitchen, the lay, the layout in general over of the whole style. Like there's so much going on. I feel like in some ways it's causing unnecessary stress, especially since we don't like have to sell. It would just be nice to have all that acreage to do all, you know, fun stuff on. And so that's what I wanted to tell you today, people that, um, can suck because, uh, the whole process of it and um, just having, you know, the time to, to getting back all the different paperwork. And so just this whole, this whole loan thing and researching people and just, I just, it just brings me back to all these things in life that kind of can make, um, excuse me, be obstacles. But not only that, reminding myself that even though I don't, even at this point, I don't put in more work, it's worth it to get the best possible rate. So that's what I wanted to say in this little rant today. And that's about it. Working on the things that I have promised you and enjoying the beautiful weather. And I will enjoy every day of it that I can wear a t-shirt. But I won't talk about it, I promise, in every video. I'm going to get to my cleaning now. I am going to move on to, um, I don't talk about enough stuff that sucks. I know a lot of people can relate to those sorts of topics, including another suck of, I will end for real, that I am exploring Rumble. And I'm just going to start a couple of videos on there. It's supposed to be like YouTube in some senses, but you can monetize from it. And I can also go live without that many subscribers. So I don't know if that's going to be popular, but what I did see is I think people can call in like and be active or ask a question, which I think is kick ass because that's kind of what I wanted. I'm like on YouTube, people can make comments or something with each other. But, um, you know, if I'm, if I want to engage right there, I wanted something like that, kind of like a zoom call thing even though there won't be that much privacy on there, who gives a care? Because why do we even need to be that private? Whatever, people, be yourself. The things you're dealing with, other people are dealing with too. So whatever, I don't know. Okay, so I'm exploring that. I'm putting that ahead of the Wizio site, which I was exploring. So 
I'm going to start though on that is that um, on the rumble, maybe just like a couple of videos and just see what goes on there. It's very confusing and their terms in agreement. I wish they had like a cliff notes or again, layman's term for that. Cause they basically seem like they covered everything, but um, we'll see how it goes over there. Okay. So I will talk to you next time in the next video. Bye.